This is the SIP module supplied by Cafe Racer Kits. It's a fiberglass seat pan and the seat will go on top. And what I've got to do now is um, mark and adjust the bottom edge to fit more precisely against the shape of the frame and the hoop. So I'm going to be marking it all along the way and, uh, and then cutting it and then I'll be doing the same thing there to fit the tank. So I've marked it out following the shape of the frame of the hoop and now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting Better get a mask So there's the seat back in place, it's all fitting nicely, it's sitting back a little bit and that's because now I have to adjust the front end abuts against the tank and in order to make it fit I'm going to mark the amount of distance that I've moved it back in order to fit it, mark it along, cut it equally in distance from the tank and uh, that should go back to its uh, desired position. Looking better. Yep, and the uh, area around the tank. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. I just need to buff up the edges a little bit and uh, straighten them up a little bit, that's all. And then um, I'm going to start fiddling around with the seat that came with the kit, which I wasn't particularly fond of. It was just too high for me. I'm about five foot nine, but it just felt a very tall seat. But I also didn't like the look of it very much. I mean, it's a good seat. So I'm going to reshape it in some way to, instead of being over the top like it used to be, it's going to follow the shape of the, uh, of the seat pan. Right, so the engine's uh, almost finished. It's waiting there for the water impeller to be put back in. A few other little bits and pieces, the cooling system. Um, but I've started to put the bike together and this is what I've got so far. Okay, so um, I've got the new front tire with the new rim hooked up to a conversion hub supplied by Cognito Motors that has turned this into a GSXR 600 or 750 front end. I've got the GSXR 600 forks, they're just tacked on, they're not screwed on 
completely and they also supplied the bottom and the top triple the bottom triple comes with adjustable stops uh, I've put some uh, clip-ons that's the top clamp and there's a little space there for some uh, instruments uh, from Moto Gadget, the mini scope and some lights and I think I'll have an adequate turning circle without any problems and I'll just adjust the little stops so that they hit the existing uh, bracket there on the, uh, on the front the tanks in place um, and that's the seat that comes with the uh, kit from Cafe Racer kits and this is what they call the Roadster version of the conversion oh, I haven't done the back wheel but I'll be doing an 18 inch wheel anyway so I use the old one just to see what the whole thing looks like and to try it in yeah I think I like the the whole concept of the seat but it just turns up a little bit too high and uh, I think that if I keep that which looks pretty cool and make a smaller lower seat with a little backrest in the cafe racer style I think that will look pretty cool yes so now I have to start doing some modifications to the frame um, I can't remember what they are but there's a few things I've got to do and uh, slowly start putting the bike back together the next stage after the modifications will be to take the frame and all the little bits and pieces that I want powder coated and I'll be uh, getting those powder coated in the chosen color we'll see what that is so that's starting to take shape now uh, the seat pan is uh, in place the tanks in the right position front wheel front end pretty much where it should go the back wheel still has to uh, be converted I've got the shocks in there and that's the stands so now that's looking a lot better and I've got the rear seats there as well 